Hello. Welcome back to Half-Life 2. So, uh, just picking up where we left off the last part, uh, Root Canal. Uh, so, it's a new recording session for me, so I've got to try and remember what happened. Uh, we escaped City 17. Uh, I've also had to do loads of farting about off camera. I've had a hell of a time. Uh, hopefully, I've actually fixed uh, whatever was causing my games to occasionally hang and freeze. Uh, I had missing DLL files as well as AVG. Uh, kept using 70% of my 8 gig of RAM. So I got rid. It should all be good. It actually, it was slowly getting worse. Like it, it started off doing it like, very rarely, and it wasn't for long. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, whoa! Then all of a sudden, when I was playing Half-Life One, it just started getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm hoping now I've actually fixed it. Uh, I quite like this section of the game. I enjoy a, a good vehicle section. A lot of people don't like this part of the game, but I enjoy it. So. Um, I think I just got shot at. Uh, there's another cache here. I'm not trying to get them all, uh, just a few of them. Not that it's going to matter, because pretty sure I actually have to find them all in one playthrough. But, I want the goodies, so... Whoa. He was really, really trying to get that box thrown at me. They are all dead. So this was actually the uh, station that the woman that gave me the airboat was telling me to go to. She was a little blighter. Uh, but they are all dead because they got shelled. Again, the most disturbing thing that the combine actually do. Uh, that's not normal. There we go. Another neat little physics thing. Don't miss. Oh, I thought I was going to land on the box. That would have killed me. Okay, I've got a nice bit of ammo back. Now we continue. Uh, I might visit the singing vortigaunt. Just why not? So this section of the game is actually pretty long. Really hoping I'm not getting drowned out by the audio. Supplies? I love supplies. Thanks, bro. Cheers, bro, Shiv. Run. Run. So, we have another physics puzzle here. This absolutely blew my mind as a kid when I first played this. It's actually buoyancy. Where's this cache? Don't flash me, it's bright. Uh, supposed to be a cache here somewhere. Right, we don't know where it is. Oh, good. It didn't get fixed. Windows, man. It doesn't seem to be as bad, but again, I have no idea why I have DLL files missing. Like they've just disappeared. Right, 
no idea where that cache is, and I can't bother to look for it. Ugh. Yeah, I really need to probably look at that then. Right, I've done SFC, I've done DISM, it fixed some corrupt files, I've done a Windows update, I've updated my drivers. It's still doing it, so something is very wrong, and my laptop is... It's a fucking good laptop, and it's only a year old. So, it shouldn't be doing this. No, cache is not down there. So, I need to be finding out what the fuck is going on with my laptop, because this laptop wasn't cheap, and I'm not happy right now. Quite pissed off, actually. And it's not this game. It's not because I'm running on Mac settings, because on my old PC, like, that PC was 10 years old. And then some. No, no, it wasn't 10 years old. It was about 8 years old, I think. Something like that. And that could run this uh, Mac settings. I mean, it's, this isn't a very taxing game, like, it's old. No, he's not, he's not here. <laughs> gotcha. Oh god, there's a barnacle here. I remember this, because these would always get me. Every time. The ding. It does seem to be going better, though running a fair bit better. Not perfect, which is what I want. It's the number one thing that pisses me off about PC gaming days. PCs, one minute, they're running perfectly fine, stupidly fast, everything looks great, runs well. The next, uh, Windows got bored and just decided that it wanted to fuck you over. So, now it runs like crap. problem was AVG, it was using fucking 75% of my RAM. I've got 8 gig of RAM. Why is it using that much? That was weird, I was stuck on the door. Oh, I'll get grenades from here. Yeah. You okay, hon? That's fucked up. Behind me, apparently. That was weird. Well, that didn't work. Shelf going away. Okay. I had a blood effect. Like it hit me, but I didn't take damage. That was weird. Going up through all this just to open a gate. And before I go into the next section, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. <coughs> Bit of not entirely sure how to um, go about checking all the DLL files. I might have to um, go to sea cleaner, maybe. Try some more aggressive tools. Or update the Windows 11, considering that, you know, 
fucking windows just constantly like, good windows 11, get it, get it, every single time I put my fucking laptop up. Tee hee. You just got outsmarted by a little red cart. I'm pretty sure Ugh. I'll get attacked going back by a lot of combine. Get away. I heard a door open. There's another CP in here somewhere. Broken. Mm. That works. Doesn't look like that has enough mass on it to bust that open, but still. Go, 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 go. I actually somehow already forgot that I have grenades. What up, nerds? Wagons there. Wondering where it went. I think that's all of them. Find out in a sec. Yes, slurp up the ammo. They actually make me jump. Oh boy. Can I move this? No. Ow. Sorry at that. Right, well I'm hurting. I think there's another one. Although it might be the uh, dispatch, maybe. Uh, oh, I'll get a grav gun soon. I don't know why I said grav gun so weirdly then. Grav gun. Came out that way. <laughs> yeah, get a grab gun. I can't wait. Such a fun weapon. Baby, I think I may have already missed the singing vorticle. Oh, but oh heck! Well, actually, I think he's around here somewhere. Repel that. Clip. Barnacles. <laughs> Nasty way to go. Nearly got me. Yay. Safe. Yeah, I do really enjoy this bit. It's just, it's just so fun. You just get to destroy loads of stuff. Drive about. This controls really well. In the car section, I just, I don't know, man. I just really like vehicle sections. I reckon Half-Life 2 and Halo are probably main culprits for that. Counterweight? I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
goodies, delicious goodies. Ow. I think the singing vault we're going is actually in this next area. I think. I remember him being in a big area. Got to climb up in a pipe. Yeah, I think he's here. Somewhere. Nope. I believe there's... No, there isn't. I was going to say, I believe there's supplies in that ship. Right, well, we've got to go up here. Okay, I didn't actually mean up here, but okay. Housekeeping. Yeah, baby. Got my magnum dong back. Leave me be. This gun's great. It's not all that in Half-Life 1. Half-Life 2 is fantastic. Because, as you can see, it one-shots the CP. Hello. Oh, you threw a man, hack the bastard. I can't remember when I get the crossbow. I think I've got a while to get that yet. I think it's uh, in the car section. Which I believe is also when I get the rocket launcher. Drop my face. Get out there. Oh my god. So many of them. One second, let's reload. Magnum again. Just ran out of ammo. It's not like I got it for the first time. Christ. I will take it though, because I do. I do like. Uh, how do I get over there? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Am I? really hesitant there because I wasn't sure whether or not the shot was actually going to go past the uh, the handrail. Don't do it. Oh, I just fucking recovered that, you asshole. Douche. Right. Where go? To make my way up to the tower. Sure, I've gone the wrong way. Uh... Alright. Shit, you in the nuts. I love the design on them. Looks so cool. I think I got it. It's open! Just nearly broke my legs. Well, let me take the quick way back. Oh! I'm pretty sure I get a gun on the airship at some point. Soonish. Soon ish. 
so glad I didn't get stuck. Today, what? Oh, no. Put it as a cash in there, cache. However, the fuck you say it. Yum. Cool pot. <laughs> That's a point, I've got a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 The remakes Which were apparently a massive load of shit but I got them for free so I might actually play them at some point I haven't played a good skateboarding game in years Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2 are my favourites though Where is the singing boy? I'm struggling to remember it's quite obvious when you find it, but it's just finding it to begin with. I might have already gone past it. Oh, oh I had that hit me. I didn't take all that much damage. Thank. Oh shit! Let's try. Hold up. It is. No, it's not. Never mind. Yeah, no, they're all grayed up. God damn it. I want to see him again. That was a grenade, I was going to say. How the hell did I get a single bullet for the SMG? Is that for myself or? Uh, really? Well, I've already missed one anyway, at least. Oh, this bit's always so sketchy. Yeah, I missed one down in the, uh, the sewers of 617. Because I fell off the ledge and you can't get back up. Might even be in the section when you've got the gun, I think. Quite possibly. Ow! That's why I should wear seatbelts. I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually have one. Gentlemen. Uh, I think we're nearly done with this section. I think. Yay. Give me the ammo. <laughs> uh, I 
I think I lose the helicopter after I go through here. I think. I don't know, I can't really remember. Uh, there it is. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't make an electronic noise considering that I've just hand wound it. Ow. Oh. I could have just dropped down and tried through. Oh shit. Sure, if you just straight up gun it, you can actually get through that, like under it. Look, ding! Yeah, it does definitely seem to be playing way better than it was before. I think I was just having. Issues. DLL issues. Fucking RAM issues. Again, shit I'm not happy about. One thing that always makes me really, really enjoy games. Good ambience, noise and music. Because that's what sets the tone. I think that's one of the reasons I love Dishonored so much. Because not only is the world fucking fantastic, but the whole... actual... my uh, aesthetic of it. The ambience, all the background sounds. Right up my street it is. Cause that's god damn it, every time. <laughs> Cause that's that's what that ambient sounds was uh, reminding me of. So background sound of Sonic, which is a point actually, I never actually played um Death of the Outsider. Hey! What up? You're Freeman, aren't you? Yeah boy. Gordon Freeman himself. It's in time, Doc. We gotta move out before the combine picks us up. We're just getting ready to pull out. We better hurry. We gotta tear down this camp and get out of here. Right, let me just park. I might. Come on in. I'll show you what you're up against. The detail, man. Even look, look, look at that. Look at that. This is a fucking old ass game. This came out in it was either 2006 or 2007, I think. Come on, get in. But the fucking it's held up so well. She looks so worried. What's your plan, man? Here, take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. Yeah, but... I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. Cheers, bro. Viva la resistance. There we are. That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little iron in. Oh god. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through to Eli's place. The Freeman will accept this weapon, or suffer greatly on the road ahead. 
Is that a threat? Hmm? Ugly boy. Just kidding. Thanks, peeps. Farewell. You can write me the gate. Hello, dude. Oh, good. So that seems to happen whenever the game's loading in the next section, which possibly means I am having issues with my RAM. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch! Where you going? Huh? You're so big now, are you? Pussy. the gate. Bell Mayo. Blow that up, you bastards. So yeah, uh, back in the day, when me and my friends used to play GTA Online, I was always the driver. And also back when I used to play Halo as well with my friends, I was always the driver and the pilot. Because I got the skills. Miss the good old Halo days. Good old Halo Reach. That was my shit back in the day. So fun. Uh, I have to go that way, but I oh, know I don't. No, it's a dead end that way. Yeah, I'm supposed to go here, but I'm pretty sure there's a cache there. And I need goodies. So I'm greedy. I think I can actually bring that down. Doom. Sad crabs here, I think. Oh, stuck on a ladder. Coming in. Let's go! Oh, there's metal. Okay, I can't bring that down. Why is it actually making that noise? It sounds like a wind chime, but there's not one here. Fair enough. Off I pop. So I think I've got one big area left. And that's the end of the airboat section. Oh, hello. I was going to sip some coffee. I guess I won't be doing that. Ugh! God. I forgot how good this gun is. Drink my coffee in peace, for fuck's sake. Oh, I couldn't aim up any higher. It's just as well I missed it. Oh, we got this bit. Okay. Ah, bitch. Here we go. Oh, there's two of them. Explains what was shooting me in the ass. I 
Well, that's him dealt with. Okay, right. Quick coffee. Because it's going fucking cold. Mm. Oh god, I love coffee. I don't know why, man. I fucking I love video games with puzzles. I think Resident Evil caused that. It's just a, such a unique blend of horror and puzzle solving. At this point, I need to play Resident Evil 2 soon. And I have two weeks off work real fucking soon. So I will be spending that visiting family, getting drunk, eating good food, and playing video games. So there's going to be a lot of uh, videos coming real soon. Namely Resident Evil, because I need to smash them out ASAP. Because uh, I have until October until the new Resident Evil 8 DLC drops. want to be playing that, you know. Yeah, this is the big section I was thinking about. Here come the helis. Come on in. Let's go. Chicken. a lot of mines. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Die, bitch. God! I do not remember this being so tough. Right, I need to get some health or this fucker's gonna kill me. Uh oh. There we go. Ass. Who? I think I have actually missed the singing vortical. Shame. Oh well. It's not really all that interesting to be fair. Basically, just go in there. He's you gotta go for a load of toxic water without dying, and he literally just sits there going, "Wow!" And then yeah, that's about it. There's a couple of supplies in there. How do I get up there again? Um, pretty sure one of these is supposed to collapse. Is the game glitched? Oh no, I've got to go up here, I'll go through here, then I can go up. And then... Oh, no, never mind, singing Vorgorn's over there. Go through here, then I can go up, then I can go open that gate, and then I can jump through. However, I don't know if I've got enough health to get there. 
through the tunnel. something then. God damn it. Yeah, I remember this being a bit annoying. You can do it. I think I was actually on it then. Here we go. Got enough health to do it. Lame. Oh well. Yeah, there's not really much in there anyway. He's just a sick boy. How did he survive that? I beamed him in the face with it. Right, well, I need to go over that side, so... Uh, tell you what, hang on, let's drop this round here. Because I don't want to have to run all the way back. Oh! Meant to do that. As planned. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Water was awfully loud, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, fuck you, helicopter. And First try. Ding. Pretty sure I just smashed this into the floor, and if you used to do that with a real air airboat, um, it wouldn't be going much further. Probably just stuck a hole in the ballast. Black Mesa East. Not really. Uh, what's Magnum? Two. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. And I love this game so much. They really need to do more with the Half-Life universe. That leads back down there. Anything, man, just, just give us closure, for fuck's sake. An animated film, a series, a book, who cares? A comic. Okay, it's, it's human. Hello? Hello, it me. Take it easy in there. They're safe now. They'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly while well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. 
I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, oh, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Yeah, never would I. Hurry up. We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your trick. Oh, I'm just a theoretical the physicist. Technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Don't start going quantum physics. That's Listen when brain like hurt. Postdoc. I, I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Yeah, for a grand old total of about five oh, minutes. Yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined the Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. It's been such a weird conversation talking to Freeman, because he doesn't say a single fucking yeah, word, he just stands there and stares at you. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're weird. Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right, you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into no, your lab. I refuse. Where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Your uh your potato looks a bit ill. Actually, is this supposed to be? Alex brings in the strangest thing. Fair enough. Thanks for answering my question. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. Should uh, should that be sitting on a shelf there? you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess uh, you, could, you can I, handle I, yourself I, out I didn't there. didn't do it on foot, but don't tell him. Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh, you trying to hook me up with your daughter? That's just fucking weird, dude. I've actually had someone try to do that to me in real life. It's fucking weird. Take a look at this, Gordon. Yeah. Looking at it. What, why, why, what exactly am I looking at? It's a crystal. That goes wow wow. And turned slightly invisible there. Border at. Alex! I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, <laughs> really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Yeah, do that. Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. 
The zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, Shut let's up. Let's get out of here. Mr. Roll back. Anyway, she just shrugged off a magnum round. Don't piss her off. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. I mean, she is welcome to it, because then Gordon wouldn't be in this mess. That's It'd probably be a home chilling. Raven home. We don't go there anymore. Oh, we do. What the fuck just happened to her eyes there? That was, don't ever do that again, that was creepy. Come on. What the fuck is that noise? I don't know if that's in the game or outside. It's in the game. It sounded like there was a digger outside or something. Maybe a street sweeper. But no, it's in the game. Here we are. The scrapyard. We're about to meet one of the best characters in the game. So fucking this pushing me. Gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. Oh, the Zepethan. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. Then man, if I do. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. Found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Oh god, the game didn't like that. <laughs> God, I want one. Also pull stuff over from a distance. Give it a try. Did it. See if you can stack some stuff on your head. So if you're too dumb to figure that out, she eventually opens a gate and just lets you through. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're, you're thick as shit. Just fucking, just come through here. Beware of dog. <laughs> here he comes. The best the character. Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog, come. Here he is. Best boy. Hey, buddy. Gordon, this is Dog. Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a nice boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw! Goodest boy. Goodest robo boy. One one. He didn't catch it though. Awesome. Another one, dog. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it fucking killed me. Dog, go get your ball. These are one of the most annoying enemies in the game. And... 
Nothing but net. I don't actually know if that went in. Sorry, buddy. I'll give up. That is actually an achievement, but... Ding! Sure, it's fine. Oh my god. I want to go on the motorized thingy. That's one way to make yourself vomit. That ball is absolutely after me. Fucking hell, that's out for blood. He wants us to go to a rave. Just decided to give me some shit. Thanks, buddy. He's a good boy. Boom. Alright. How long have we been going? A while. Right, well, I'm going to leave that here then. Uh, because we have Raven Home next. A bit I actually really enjoy because it, it's quite a spooky section of the game. It's basically just a whole town that's been shelled, so it's just full of zombies. And I like it, and it's you get to play with the, the gravity gun, probably, and it's just so fucking fun. So yeah, I love this game. It is one of my all-time favourites. Of all time. I love it, and it's held up really fucking well. It controls nicely, it looks fantastic, even for an old-ass game. Yeah, I loves it. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying uh, if you have enjoyed, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Monday you go.